All right, how's it going, guys? Back to do my file in Chapter Seven X. Uh, to go through the differences of characters, one big difference I will show after I kill this. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn off, uh, turn back on the animation. So when I was speeding through the game a, <laughs> a second time, I turned off the animation to make it go quicker, and I also put in fast forward. There I go, hit and select again. And look at that. God damn it, Kent, look. Look at his speed. Look. Look. Come on, he could never double hit, and now his speed is insane. Although one problem that I didn't show... His speed's higher than Lin's. That's how... Pff, come on, man. One thing I didn't show, however, is his defense. It never got boosted. It's been five, and it's staying five. And if I show it, which I might, does it give a nice view on my units? Oh, I'm sorry, I just had nothing to talk about for a second. <clears throat> This is also a boring chapter, not many units, uh, not much happens. Still don't know how you dodge a lightning bolt in the phone's ring. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. As Lucius kills another guy who dodged a lightning bolt. Uh, also that thief right there. As you notice, there's the chest. He can do everything uh, Matthew can, so... If you're slow, which I kind of am, you may not get that chest. Because you see those stairs? Basically what thieves do, they try not to get in battle at all. Basically what they do is they run in, take a chest, they might steal a couple items off of you if you're in their range, and then they just leave. Or try to. Just go into these stairwells, basically. My Lin's ki my will's kind of under leveled, I think. I mean, he's only level five, I think. Then again, for this part in the game, I guess it's okay. I don't know. Of course, can't can't reach the wall and start breaking it down. Yep. Decided to let Dorcas do the blow here. And he actually ends up dodging it. See? Then I give the final kill to Urk. When you can't think of anything else to commentate, always fall back on saying what's going on. Foolproof. I swear. I need something to talk about. Uh, it's kinda quiet today. Not much going on. Alright, so he's opened the door, so he's already got pretty much near that chest. This is the final chance, or final chance, yeah, blah blah blah. I find it pretty funny how the Black Fang says death is after you don't get any other chances, death is the only option. Well, how come they give this guy two chances? What makes him so special that he gets two chances? I mean, we, when you get a question wrong on Jeopardy, you don't get a second chance. Or how about who wants to be a millionaire? I mean, you really don't get a second chance there. You get one question wrong, you fail. I remember the... I've never seen someone get a million dollars on that show. The only time I've seen someone get close is someone who got to the very last question and he was doing so well, but then on the final... on the question before he used his lifeline his final one so getting there he lost all his lifelines he was stuck with this really hard question for the a million dollars which is rightfully so because it's the million dollar question and he just ended up walking away with the money like the pussy he is he should have gone for it five hundred thousand dollars is nice but go for the million man I 
It was funny. When I was a kid, I used to want to be on that show so bad. And I'd be so happy if I just got through the first question. Because I was thinking, wow, these idiots. The first question is worth $100. And it's one of the easiest questions you could ever answer. I think one of them, this really stupid lady, got wrong. I was like, uh, Beauty and the Beast, what is... What is Belle's hair color or something like that? And she answered blonde. What Disney princess is blonde? I mean, come on. No, she's not. Sleeping Beauty's not blonde. No. Cinderella's blonde. No, C Cinderella's blonde. I know that. And there's also Rapunzel. Well, are you just a fairy tale princess? Yeah, because Nemo's a fairy tale princess. He lived in the Amazon. Ugh. This is going to be the most random commentary ever. I swear. Probably not even be able to hear half of what my sister's talking to me about. Oh, you has a 69% chance of hitting. <laughs> I had to make that joke. I didn't make it the first time because I was too busy talking about Disney princesses. How did I get on that topic? Something about who wants to be a millionaire? I love Nemo. Get out of here. Oh wait, is this, oh yeah, this is the funny part. Oh wait, no, I'm, I'm thinking of the wrong thing, yeah. Bam. Punch to the crotch. Dan, Sleeping Beauty is not blonde. I don't even know. I think she's a brunette. What does that have to do with anything? Redhead's not blonde. For being what? I'm done. Ugh. Try talking to a fifth grader. It makes no sense. Oh yeah, there's something interesting. How come Will has so much defense? There's more defense than the Cavalier. That's really random. I think you're kind of boring. They're not going to know what to think. My commentary is awesome. Maybe you should stop talking in the middle of my videos. Huh? Oi. Oh, wait a minute. I never turned down the volume, which means there might be double volume of the game and my audio. I hope not. We just must well. Oh, wait. Here. I, I, I. Whatever. But hey, you know what? Let's go take out this. Oh, darn it. The iron sword's not strong enough. And the armor, sir. Let's go with the man I could tie. There's no way this can miss. <laughs> it missed. Uh. <laughs> Well, after that travesty of a mess, let's uh, let Kent finish this off. Uh, let's do face. Watch out. I'm not at all ticked off that uh, miss. Nothing about my. Uh... Yeah. 
Well, let's, let's just forget all about it. Never happened. Never happened. Lynn didn't even fight it. Ken just did it all by himself. There was no 91 uh, hit chance involved. And, uh... He just hit with a 61. <laughs> and it's funny because his luck's like 5 and her luck's like 11. <laughs> just get in there. Ugh. Anyway... Uh, one funny thing... <clears throat> Urk could have technically died here. His chances were incredibly slim, but he could have. You'll see in a sec what I mean. You'll see what I mean in a sec, as I'm switching around my words. And there's a level up. Hooray. Do you want a medal? Get over and start healing people with your stick. Magic Boomstick. So anyway, I decided that to kill Gyard, I think his name is. No, Bri Briard. God damn this small screen. Um I'm just gonna kill him with Will, because he's kinda under leveled technically with the rest of my group and I wanna get him higher leveled. So one thing I hadn't known at this part is that he actually doesn't move. I was kind of being careful to see if he moved or not. And uh, he really doesn't move. Even if he did move, I'm pretty sure Will would only be hit once. And it was a slight, it was probably a slim chance at that. Can't believe I was afraid of a 1% chance at critical. I mean, I better be safe than, uh, dead, I guess you could say. Stupid level ups. See, on this playthrough, I just got all speed. I didn't get, like, any defense like I did on my last playthrough. Well, uh, that about wraps things up. I'm gonna move Will up just into his range, I think, after getting on my heel. And I was still testing out, as I said, if he was gonna move or not. Which he doesn't. Level up the staff. Now it's a C. But you know what? Yeah, that does it.